Here is my 5 month starting strength journey between 2017 and 2018. I will show you the progress I made, my transformation and what I learned from doing the program. Enjoy! I had already lifted for a year when beginning starting strength, so I wasn't a complete noob. I had gained some muscle and strength, but I was mostly skinny and weak. Like most, I did my own iteration of the program. Alternating squats and deadlifts, swapping power cleans for barbell rows and adding some extra upper body volume. A decision I still stand by since for me, noob gains on the bench and overhead press had already been achieved. These were my starting numbers, all done for 3 sets of 5 reps. I really enjoy training like this and to this day, this has been my favorite time period of working out. All the workouts had a clear focus, the progression was rapid, I was learning a lot and my motivation was high. This period is what made me love full body compound lift training, a style I mainly still use today. This went on for exactly two months and I reached these numbers, all still for three sets of five reps. Needless to say, things were going well. However, all good things must eventually come to an end. I had been developing shoulder pain on my left side that was now getting unbearable on the bench press and also seemed to be aggravated by rows and squats. And I had also stalled on squats for the first time. As for the cause of this pain, no, it wasn't the extra upper body volume I added to the program, it was my squat grip. Though I only realized this much later. My left shoulder has always been a little messed up and my grip on low bar squats was too narrow for it, causing bone on bone impingement, inflammation and subsequent pain on certain movements. I now started squatting every workout alternating heavy and light loads, only deadlifted every other workout for one set of five and stopped benching and rowing. Shortly after this change, I also started using a lifting belt, straps and weightlifting shoes. I was also really taking my time between every rep, causing the sets to drag out forever and making them brutal. I was effectively using my 3 rep max weights for 5 reps, and just holding this position was extremely hard. If I could go back in time, I wouldn't do it like that anymore, but it certainly made me stronger back then. On every single workout for roughly a month straight, on squats, presses and deadlifts, I was either failing reps or just barely making them, really causing me to dread every training session, but also giving me a huge feeling of accomplishment when I would somehow keep making progress. The high frequency of squatting and performing other heavy lifts, the equipment upgrades and technique improvements made along the way, taking my time on every set, resting longer between sets as time went on, and last but not least, learning to focus, brace and grind through difficult reps in a fatigued state where all things that made me a better lifter and contributed to my strength progress, though there was definitely some muscle gain as well, which I will get into later on. I was effectively progressing each lift one and a half times per week due to how my program was set up, and the progress was relatively linear on squats and deadlifts, though not so much on the overhead press. There were some little roadblocks here and there like my lower back and shoulder getting flared up from all the maximum effort lifting, but for the most part, the progress was magical, and I kept pushing it as far as I could. Two and a half more months went by, now totaling four and a half months since I started the program, and these were the best numbers I managed to achieve. My body weight was now at 84 kilos, which was a total gain of 10 kilos. Eventually though, my squat stalled for the second time, and I decided to do one more reset. Eat everything in sight and milk all I could out of the program. Spoiler alert, I should have stopped at this point. I had made a lot of progress, my body weight gain was justifiable, and I had undeniably gained some new muscle as well. The extra eating did fuck all, except made me 5 kilos fatter in a month with 2.5 kilos more load on the squat to show for it. What a dumb thing to do. Don't do that. To play the devil's advocate though, if I hadn't done that, I probably would have had a lot of what-if thoughts later on. It was at least the sort of mistake that you learn something from. I stopped low bar squatting, my shoulder and lower back pain went away, and I was able to bench press and barbell row again. I managed to hit the bench for a triple with 110 kilos and row for a triple with 85 kilos at this point. Four months later, after a fat loss phase, doing a basic full body training routine four days per week, I was in better shape than when I had begun starting strength, with my body weight five kilos heavier at the same waist measurement. Final important words, I recommend this program to any not yet strong person who cares about both strength and size, but it is best for highly motivated lifters, as the anecdotal dropout rate is very high. The program starts deceptively easy and you will think the volume is too low, a phenomenon that has inspired many dumb ripoff programs with higher volumes. But starting strength quickly becomes extremely difficult, and the more seriously you can take it at that point, the better progress you will make. 
I think reaching a bodyweight bench and one and a half times bodyweight squat for your work sets is an excellent result. If you don't reach anywhere near that, your genetics, testosterone, limb lengths or horoscope isn't the problem. Just keep pushing harder. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.